This is a continuation of how to level your dirt floor part two. Uh, I had to stop because my little dog Marcus was out in the park trying to get in a dog fight. So uh, here, here we go again. And so we've re recognized that our current slope is a 5% slope. And our question is how much dirt do I need to take out from the high point, the current high point, to get to a 2% slope? So now really easily, I can tell that half of five is two and a half, half of 11 is five and a half. So I think I'm going to guess and do some experimentation and use five inches. And so I'm gonna say a, our slope is five inches divided by 216 times 100, and that gets down to a 2.3% slope. Now, this is a process of experimentation. You can see over here on this sheet that I've done it with five inches, four inches, and four and a half inches. Four inches gets us a 1.85 slope. That is too low. Don't go with that slope. It has to be a minimum of 2%. Four and a half inches gets us a 2.1% slope, which is really close. Um, but I've decided to go ahead and go with this 2.3% slope because it's a little safer. It's a little bit over and I'd rather be over than under on this. So now what we do, if you go to the bottom of the page here, Uncle D, what we're going to do is we're going to take our original rise 11 inches minus our 2% calc, which is five inches and we get six inches that needs to be removed from the high point. So I need to remove five inches of dirt here from the high side of my installation. And I need to remove zero inches of dirt from the low side of my installation. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to do basically a gradated shallow excavation where we take a band of six inches of dirt, then five, then four, then three, then two, all the way down to zero. Thanks for joining me on Book of Instruction. I'm Sarah Bergstrom. Stay tuned for the next video on how to do a shallow excavation.